Hello everybody, today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this 2024 GMC Sierra. This is the AT4X HD. It has the 6.6 liter Duramax V8 and a 10 speed Allison transmission. The AT4X is the more aggressive off-road style um, of the AT-X uh, trims. Starting off up front, we're gonna have an increased approach angle uh, metal powder coated front bumper. You do retain your parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. LED fog lights, your AEV branding right there, and that's for your uh, engine block heater because this is a diesel truck. Beautiful LED headlights, your HD is stamped into the uh, grill plastic. We have this really nice brushed looking metal grill trim. 360 degree camera system, so your front facing camera is gonna be right here. On the diesels, we do have a functional hood scoop. I believe this is billet silver. We'll take a quick look at the window sticker in a little bit. Black uh, fender flares. These are a little bit more aggressive than the ones you typically get on like a Denali trim. They do also have the amber side markers. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, it looks like we have a Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac uh, Territory MT. And the tire size looks like it's a 305-70R18. Nice black 18-inch AEV wheel. Splash guards are included. We have a thicker coat of paint along the bottom to protect against rock chips and eventually corrosion. Deployable running boards. Your AT4X HD badging is gonna be on the driver side and passenger side doors. Gloss black mirror caps with your 360 degree camera right there. Blind spot uh, indicator, rear facing LED lamps. Gloss black door handles with passive entry, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger door. We have the bed step right here on the side. Right down in there, I don't know if you'll be able to see, you have your Multimatic DSSV shocks. Coming around to the back, we have an increased departure angle rear bumper. You do also have your parking sensors retained into the middle portion of the bumper with two tow recovery points, which is pretty sweet. AT4X badge is gonna be on the passenger side and your AEV badge is gonna be on the driver's side. We have this really nice kind of matte graphic on the uh, multi-pro tailgate. We will go over that a little bit in detail further down in the video. Seven pin trailer connector and then your trailer camera system. Beautiful LED tail lamps. They're actually so, uh, sequential too, it looks really cool when the truck is on. Coming around to the driver's side, we have your diesel and def fill ports. Up top we got your third brake light, cargo light and rear view camera mirror, as well as this wing which is designed to shoot air over the bed so if you don't have a tonneau cover, you'll still get a little bit uh, improved aerodynamics. There's your Duramax 6.6 liter badging. This guy also has rooftop clearance lights as well. Let's take a closer look now at the interior. Tons and tons of room in this vehicle. Starting off over on the driver's side door, we have this really nice soft leather with red stitching that is the AT4X accents. Lock and unlock buttons, two seat memory, all the window controls for the vehicle as well as your mirror control including your Til, uh, telescoping mirror buttons and your power fold mirror buttons. This guy has Bose premium audio. Right over here we have your electronic parking brake button, push button transfer case, drive mode selector with trailer tow mode right here, rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle as well as the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster, your uh, fog lamps and your cargo lamp. Heads up display control is gonna be right here. That is gonna display on the windshield right there. That brings us to the fully digital instrument cluster. Um, I love that the automotive industry is moving in this direction. Very bright, very customizable. I think they did, did an amazing job with the design of the instrument cluster. Coming back to the steering wheel, decent leather wrapped steering wheel. 
Again, that AT4X red stitching continues throughout. On the left side, you have all your cruise control buttons, as well as your heated steering wheel button and your gap adjustment for your cruise control. Over on the right side of the steering wheel, we have the control pad for the center LCD display, and then we have your steering wheel mounted audio controls. Right here, we have the massive uh, horizontal touchscreen display. Wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Uh, I think it has a 4G LTE connection. Very responsive, it is powered by Google, uh, so you do have really high definition uh, Google Maps. This also has the uh, trailer and pre-trip checklist, which is pretty sweet. And as you can see, you have a card system as well. So I can have Google Maps open up right over here and still use my uh, settings for the touchscreen. Pretty sweet. Massive push button start is going to be right here. Being the AT4X, you're going to get heated and ventilated seats. Dual zone climate controls right here. Bank of buttons starting from left to right. We have your exhaust brake button, lane keep assist button, parking sensors off button, uh, tailgate release button, hazard light button, traction control off button. This will lower all four windows of the vehicle. Locking rear diff, hill descent control. Nice storage tray right here if you can make that out with a USB and USB type C outlet right there. Two cup holders, little storage tray. Another storage tray right here. Perfect spot for the trailer brake control. Wireless charging mat. AT4X badging on the center armrest. Lift it up, giving us access to an LED lit storage compartment with a USB, USB type C, as well as a 120 volt power outlet over on the passenger side. Really nice leather seats. AEV is stitched into the passenger and driver seat. This guy has two glove boxes. The first one's accessed by pushing this button right here. However, it seems like it's locked. Second one's gonna be right here. Coming up top to the vanity, it is gonna be LED lit for your passenger as well as the driver. The entire vanity and headliner, I believe, is the uh, Alcantara. Very, very soft to the touch. Up top, we have a three-door universal garage remote. All of the master controls for the single pane sunroof, which I'm a huge fan of. Your OnStar SOS buttons, LED dome light master controls, and then we have your video camera rear view mirror, which is really, really cool. There's a couple different features uh, it has. Uh, you can control the brightness, you can control how zoomed in or zoomed out the video camera shows, and then you can control how high or how low the camera goes as well. Uh, to make it go back to a regular mirror, just simply flick it back, and then you're into a regular rear view mirror. So, Overall, I really do like the uh, interior of this vehicle. I think it's very spacious um, and I prefer the layout just a little bit more than on the Silverado counterpart. Let's take a quick look at the back and see how much legroom we have. Getting in is real easy with the drop down running boards and the grab handle on the B pillar. These seats do fold up giving us access to some underfloor storage which is always nice. On the driver side and passenger side you also have in seat storage for the rear passengers as well. All weather floor liners look like they're included with this guy. Tons of legroom, storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders right here for rear occupants. Heated captain's chairs, USB and USB type C outlet right there. I don't know how well that's coming through, I do apologize. LED dome map lights up top. And if you look closely, even with the twi uh, single pane sunroof, decent amount of headroom up there for the front occupants. But the rear occupants, they extended the headliner up about three inches or four inches. So you have tons of headroom back here. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. Power sliding rear window. Really, really comfy. And there's not really a bad seat in this vehicle. Um, looking at that massive horizontal touchscreen is pretty sweet from back here. But uh, overall, I'm very, very comfortable. These doors are absolutely massive. You have, again, the, the premium Bose speakers pretty much everywhere. Really nice, soft touch leather with the red stitching. And again, these doors are just huge. Let's take a look at the bed now. So there's a couple ways to actually lower the tailgate on this vehicle. Um, unfortunately, it is attached to a trailer, so I won't be able to go over the 
uh, entire features of the Multi Pro tailgate, but your backup camera is going to be right here, and you have a LED puddle lamp right there for connecting a trailer in low light conditions. First button right here is going to open the top portion of the Multi Pro tailgate. Second button is going to open the entire tailgate. And then if you push the buttons in sync, both will open and then you can use it as a step. However, again, there is a trailer in the way, so we're just going to push this down. When it is in step mode, you can pull on this and it does have some grippy tape on the bottom to use as a step. This guy also has the Kicker Premium Audio Tailgate uh, audio package as well with a USB and an aux input right there. This does extend your bed considerably, so if you do have larger items in here, you can use this as a stopper. We have three tie-down points in each of the four corners for a total of 12. This guy looks like it has the fifth wheel gooseneck prep package. And if you look closely too, the bed sides have been pushed out as far as they can, maximizing cargo space. On the driver's side, we have a four pin and seven pin connector for your fifth wheel gooseneck prep. And then we have a handle right here to use with the Multi Pro tailgate. Real easy to put the tailgate up. You also have a 120 volt power outlet right over here on the passenger side. Let's see if this guy has a towing and payload sticker. So here's the towing and payload sticker for this vehicle. Keep in mind this is an off-road uh, vehicle and if you see one on your local dealer lot that's slightly different, it could be because how it's optioned. General rule of thumb is the more options and packages you get, the less towing and payload you'll have. Let's take a quick look now at that window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this guy. It does have a base price of $81,800. Standard equipment's going to be all right here. Optional equipment is going to start right here and transfer over onto this page, bringing the total MSRP to 103918 Most notably, we have the 9490 Duramax 6.6 .6 liter uh, package, as well as a 9395 AT4X AEV edition. Because this is a heavy duty vehicle, it is not applicable to the EPA fuel economy estimates. So there you have it, 2024 GMC Sierra AT4X HD with a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel engine. If you like the video, please consider giving me a like and share. If you wanna keep up to date with more vehicle walkthroughs, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel and please be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.